If there is a secret to Libya's success at this African Nations Championship, it's unlikely to be because of their handball skills. But Libya have clearly been doing something right, as they are now just one game away from winning the competition. They face Ghana in the final, a team they know plenty about, having played and drawn against them in the group stages. It is a dream for us. It is a dream for any team because we reached the final and that is at the top of our dreams. But we are going to fight in this game to do everything we can to win. We are going to put all our energy into winning this final. For Libya, this match is more than just a game of football. The country went without any league football for three years, following the turmoil and unrest during the regime change. The coach, Spain's Javier Clemente, who was only appointed late last year, knows that this success will be widely celebrated in Libya. This success has been very good for Libyan football, so even if we don't beat Ghana, it has still been a good thing for Libyans and the future, as we are pushing the line of what can be achieved. Maybe in the future, we need to change some things to help us, but we are going in the right direction. We are going forward. Despite reaching the final, Libya's progress through the knockout rounds is thanks to penalties. The players displayed nerves of steel in the shootouts against both Gabon and Zimbabwe. Even the coach has been impressed at the player's mental strength. There is no secret to our penalty success. The players play without pressure, so maybe that's our advantage. Players make mistakes and it's normal. Some players, I feel, change their mind when they're taking penalties, whereas our players know what they're doing and they do it without pressure. So can Libya complete this fairy tale story and win the 2014 African Nations Championship? If they do, it would have extra meaning as they were originally supposed to host the event only for it to be moved to South Africa given the instability in the country. The final might not be in front of their home fans, but victory for Libya would taste as sweet. Dan Williams, CCTV, Cape Town.